Welcome back, folks, to Drainage 2. I'm your host, Luke Khan, and we are on the hunt for slavers. Oh, and looks like they found us. Not too bad. We're looking for something in particular, ain't we? Great. Um, another crate. Let's see here, which way do we want to go? We'll take the long way. Seems the most logical. in here. Another giraffe. Not too shabby. Let's see here. We got the... Uh, Steve. All right. Your crest, I think. Mother described it once. Put that above your door. Just some documents. You better have the ties to back it up. Otherwise you just look old. Uh-uh. I suppose that makes sense. Can't target slavers quite yet. There we go. Let's go over here, grab this crate. Hand axe. Assassin, guard, guard. Oh, we'll take care of the little guys first. This is the next guard. You see that? Yeah, cheaters. Ring. Take all that. All right. We got all those. Hey, see what's this? Shield, History of Kirkwall, Part 2. Alright. I do kind of like that they are, uh... Master Slave. Oh, no. For Elda, you can do that. Surprise here for us. I knew I should have slit his throat. Like that was a mini boss. Uh, I was worried about that, man. I was worried about that. Trim bloodhound. Um, 
Mask of the yeah, let's stamina regen. That looks pretty good. Let's see what else we got here. Beric will be our metal detector of sorts. That has to be the vault. If there's anything to learn about the family, that's where it is. Okay, that's the entry. That's the main hub. I saw something. History of the circle. Cracked rose diamond. We'll take all that. And there's the chest. Sure, we'll take that. So this is it. Grandfather's will. Let's just take it back to mother and be done with it. Yeah, let's go back now. I don't think there's any point in delaying the news. <clears throat> I agree. We should head back. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. <laughs> it's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. Uh-oh. Grandfather left everything to mother and us. I guess he had some sense after all. See for yourself. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Hmm. The estate is ours. We have a home, Mother. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me. But, Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. Mm. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? Did you wait one minute? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Well, it's something to look forward to, right? Sure, the bone pit. Paid spear. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if we had anything else we wanted to take. I don't think so. I think we're good. Oh, that's this. Uh, let's take our uh, main. Let's gallows. Sure, we'll hit the gallows first. Makes sense. Maybe I should put you to use, Farrick. Have you penned some warnings for the lawless? Who's that for? The most criminals, big readers. More mages. You talk. I'm going to ask the guards about their training. I know your place. I am Tobrias. You and that man are both orcs. I remember your <laughs> father. Malcolm was a good man. You wrote my father. I found a letter you sent about a friend of his you could not name. Ah, the Templar. Your father could not write to him directly, lest the Order find out. The Templar? He allowed your father to leave Kirkwall. Rule is not served by caging the best of us. A wise man. Um, 
That's surprising. Not what I would expect from a Templar. There was a time when the rules of the Order could be interpreted to suit a situation. Unlike these days. Hmm. Much more lax, I suppose. I will send the letters I held. It seems fitting that they return to family. Cool. Such a friendship. Few like your father remain. Even fewer like the Templar. Rest well at the Maker's side, Sir Moravar Carver. Hmm. All right. You got anything better? Nope, nope, nope. Apostate boots, apostate robe, apostate. It's a little bit better, but not much. Amulets. Plus three physical damage, so that goes to a warrior. Plus two mana regen. Everybody's got an amulet. Weapon wise, anything? Nope, okay. Sure, just target look at the armors. Armor of the wall, plate armor. Rune of protection. Go ahead and sell this. Um, that's Dex and Cunning. I wonder if Barrett can use that. Roar. Armor of the Wall. It's all fighter stuff. Alright, just keep rolling. I wish there was a way out of here. All right, just go ahead and head towards um, Gimlin's house. Just go ahead and check the letters. Who sends? I take you back everything I said about your blighted family. It's not okay. I can keep you busy for a while. All right, that's good. And we'll take everyone. And we'll head over to... We got more stuff? What else we got? Oh, Carver. Let's talk to Carver. Thinking of life in Hightown? We're still a long way from cowing Templars with our titles, brother. Uh, your attitude stinks. We took a big step with this. You should respect that. Right. Right, the glorious Amels, a noble lineage dating to the Third Blight. You know what that means. 700 years of people sitting around saying, wow, look how great we used to be. <laughs> Mother didn't even want that life back until we got dumped here. And you only care because we're under Templar scrutiny. <laughs> You're being an ass. You hating everything I do is really losing its charm. Sure make light why take anything seriously you're the eldest you lead by default I don't see you taking the reins when should I do that when I'm following you around or, or when I'm caring for mother while you tame mighty Kirkwall hmm. besides we both know what happens when someone leaves dear brother's protection I'm sure Bethany would appreciate that you're keeping good humor no I'm using funds fun but you're taking this little pissing match too far what? You don't like someone making a joke out of everything you are? I don't see the humor in digging up Bethany so you can hide behind her, too. All right. Wow. Brother. I feel... I don't know. It's like Mother taking everything out on us. She was just scared. I don't have a place in the life she is trying to bring back. I'm here if you need me. 
but I must find my own way. Okay. Talk to Carver again. Here, I got you something. Why? Let's read the letters. Don't give me that look. Be grateful for five minutes. These are by father. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? I bet another mage could get more out of them. For your service that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, Conscience of the Order, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver? The Templar who allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Right. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prick? <laughs> Sir Merman was a good one. Father must have felt he was worth honoring. A man who let him look ahead. And a name that would always mean skill thoughtfully applied. Seems like he thought it held some promise. Not a link back, but how to go forward. That's what I was to him. I don't know what to say. Except, thank you. There we go. Alright. Uh, anything else from Carver? Alright. I'll take all those and we'll head towards Hightown. We'll take care of all the day stuff, then go to night, and then go to day. And just go back and forth. Stop looking at me. What's your issue now, little hawk? Don't call... Just don't, all right? You're looking for fodder for your stories. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. It serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. <coughs> I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Investigate. Uh, the bone pit is a tad bit ominous. Your first mistake was naming your mine the bone pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hired for Eldens. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. You know I'm one of them. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Oh, uh, what are you paying? What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. What happened to Surely the workers? the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. Nobody will go. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Yeah. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. You hire Ferelden. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Of course. Who else would be pathetic enough? Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. Hmm. Alright, that's all I need to know. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Alright. Mm, see what else we can get. Okay. Mm, That looks like it's over there. All right, 
Red Lantern District. <laughs> it's a red light, Red Lantern. Nice. Interesting place. Let's not stay here for long. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Uh, let's talk to her. I think I found something of yours. I, I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. Alright. And everything looks decent enough. We'll head on out. See what else we can find. What other trouble we can stir up. Alright, everything looks decent. Um, let's see what's happening at night. Let's start with Lowtown, Switch and Bait, and Loose Ends. Let's see what's going on here. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? Alright, low town. Alright. streets in the dark, but good reward in getting rid of them. Let's see what's going on here. Are you answering? Ah, sweet mother of pipe. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? Uh, expecting someone else. Did you think I was going to attack you? Oh, no, no. Uh, all right. Hope not. Anyhow. My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. Hmm. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Or what kind of property? Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I, I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. Uh, so it's Lyrium. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Of course he is. That's just bloody great. Shh! By the paragons, not so loudly. My word. I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. Mm. Uh, this better be worth it. Make it worth my time and I'll help you. Oh, I will. Or I'll try to. Practically a guarantee. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Hmm. Beric's cool with it. Everybody else is like, nah, not so much. I guess that's okay. Ah, uh, yes. I come here a lot. Better than being cooped up with gambling. Talk to Marin. Well, if it ain't my favorite new citizen. What are you doing here? Mm. That's what I'm wondering. 
Did you finally figure out being free and poor in Kirkwall ain't worth a rat's spit? I got your letter. You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their arse with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Nighttime, docks, simple. Never came back. Investigate? Uh, what do you want me to do? I haven't heard a job in this yet. The job's the same. Kill Harriman, but there'll be a bonus if you find my men alive. Who's hiring? I assume this isn't personal. Jobs paid for second hand by some other old Kirkwall family. The nobles here like to shank each other for sport. We're just their knives. Tell me about the Who's target. Lord Harriman? I don't know the who, but the what is old and rich. Rumor says he's a savvy one. His daughters give him marriage ties to half the city. All right, I'll help you. I'm sure I can finish what they started. They were supposed to ambush him at the docks. That'd be the best place to start looking. And remember, Harriman dead, my lad Gustav alive. Other way around, then you don't get paid. All right. The job's a job, I suppose. So we got some more uh come on tabs. Too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, more partying. That's where we leave. Looks very, very. Flat, very plain. Alright. Let's go and see what this larium is. Too bad if I do say so myself. Oh, looks like there's a sack over here. Moth eaten something another. So it's the abandoned house. This is a good place to stop, is any? Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you folks in the next video, alright? Bye.